pick him up at the airport. You know, and I'm usually I'm late or I'm circling the airport, so he has to wait for me. And you know, he's showing off with the, with the police and this and that, whatever. So like I'm, I'm there, but no, I, I show up. It's like, oh, you're late, you're late. And he's screaming and yelling at the top of his lungs at baggage claim or that curbside. You know, uh, you know, and you know, people just like look at him like that. Don't know him. Like, imagine that someone doesn't know who the Iron Sheik is. Yes, there are people who are not wrestling fans <laughs> that don't know who he is. That he's this Middle Eastern guy, and, and you know, screaming and yelling and going off like a raving fucking lunatic, cursing at the police officers and the, this and that. And, they, and the cops are looking and they get him the fuck because the cops know who he is. So like they're like just playing the role too and. Like, you know, they see me, and it's like, no, oh, you know, he must be the handler, and it's like, you can go now. Yeah, you can get him in the car. You can go now. And it's like, fuck the police. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck, you know, fuck the fuck. You're late. You're a Jerome. You're not professional. You're not ready for me to take you to see Mr. McMahon. Whatever. So I'm, like, throwing him in the car. I like, one for like, just to give him a front kick, just to get him in the fucking car. So I could close the car and just get the fuck out of the curbside so they don't ticket me or whatever. And then one thing when I tell him we'll, we'll drive away, it's like, oh, Eddie Bubba, good to see you. And he gives me a kiss. I give him a kiss. You know, it's like, oh, it's like, ah. Oh. Like, the fucking light bulb went off. It's a fucking work. He's like, you know, I know, you know, because I never, you know, early days, I never knew. You know, I never fucking knew. Uh, you know, I just always thought he was a fucking nutcase. But like, it's, yeah, you know, once he can't, you know, once the, once the camera's off, once he's not in the house, uh, Eric Bubba, good to see you. Hey, maybe you stop at a liquor store. I, I get my uh, my beer, please. You know, <laughs> you know no, no, don't, don't have to worry about taking me to ghetto. I have someone bringing me special, uh, you know, special green medicine for iron tree. Don't, you don't worry about that. I don't know. You just take me to a liquor store so I can get the six pack of uh, molson ice. Lost an ice or the St. Pauli girl or the backs. You know, just forget that, hey, we're driving to towns. It's like, and then he's like lighting up, smoking a little cannabis in the car. It's like, it's hot. You, know, you, you can't do it. It's illegal. You can't do that. Oh, but you, you told me I can't do that. But your president does it. Talking about Bill Clinton. Your president can do it, but it's okay for your president to do it. But it's not okay for your champion to do it. Your champion can't. No, cause you can't do it. I don't want, I don't want the smoke in the car. Fuck you, Jabroni. I, I do. Uh, yeah, have a little respect for my car, oh, Eric Bubba. Oh, you make me mad, but okay. Respect for my agent, my number one agent. Yeah. Respect for uh, my number uh, one agent. I, 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 <laughs> you know, I, every time I set up home, it's like I got to aerate the car for like three days. I, I, I always panic driving home because, the, you know, even if he did not do any gimmick in the car, it's, <laughs> his body reeked of it. Even though he, if he did smoke in the car, the body reeked of it. That like, how do you explain it to the cop? Oh, sir, your car smells of pot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, sir, but I didn't do anything. The person who I had in the car, uh, well, kind of is a pot smoker, but wasn't doing it. But his body reeked of it. But you can't go talk to him because because he's forty thousand feet in the air flying home, uh, sir. Get out of the car. Go sit down while I have the dog search the car. You want to tell me oh where it is God. now? We can get, you know, luckily, in, uh, you know, in the 26 years that I was, you know, driving around and with him, I never once was pulled over with him. Oh, wow. Never once. You're lucky. Never once. And, you know, I thank God every time. It's just like, it's, 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 sooner or later, I think my luck was going to run out.